maintain the life, look, and value of your motorcycle for years to come. Learn more at slickproductsusa.com. Hi, I'm Mark Tilley, and welcome back to Dirt Bike Magazine's video series, Year 21, where we take you up close and personal with all the 2021 250 motocross models available in the US today. Today, we get our first chance to ride the 2021 KTM 250 SXF. Although there's no major changes for 2021 when it comes to the KTM 250 SXF, there is changes across the board. Most of which we have seen on the 450 model. It's got new styling, chassis wise it has suspension updates, there was major updates to the WP air fork up front and some updates in the rear. Like I said before, most of which we've seen on the 450 model. Engine wise there is refinements but no major internal changes. If you wanna know all the in-depth specs on the 2021 KTM 250 SXF, head over to dirtbikemagazine.com or click the link in the description. It'll take you right over to our website. That's enough talking. We're gonna go ride this thing. So we just got done with our first day of testing on the 2021 KTM 250 SXF. Not a bunch of surprises here. KTM kind of started the movement of making the 250F class a rever class. This bike does rev. You have to ride it high in the revs to make it work really well. It has decent bottom down low, but it really shines when you get it kind of mid range and just revving it out on top. You can mess around with a little bit of gearing. Uh, we didn't have a chance to do that here today um, to kind of move that power down a little bit. But like we said, for the faster riders in the 250F class, rev this bike and it will give you the returns that you want. They do offer a vented airbox. The bike does run stronger, a little stronger down low, has a little bit more pop with that airbox. Handling wise, huge improvement over last year, especially in the front end. The updates that they made to the air fork gives it a more more connected feel. It gives it more rider comfort overall. It even has improved stuff in the rear. I know that they didn't change a lot of stuff internally on the shock. With the new SKF seals, the bike moves a lot freer in the rear. So we did have to adjust our clicker settings to compensate for that. The track didn't get really rough today. So we're going to do a lot more suspension testing in the future. But the other thing we did notice, the bike likes to be run from 104 millimeters of, of race sag in the rear to about 106, 107. It, that's kind of the sweet spot that we found right off the bat. So overall, handling wise, the 2021 model is, is a noticeable improvement over the 2020 model. Performance wise, this bike rewards the revers. If you're more aggressive and you wanna rev that bike, this is the kind of motorcycle for you. Again, this is our first day of testing on this motorcycle. We plan on putting a lot more time on this motorcycle. And before you know it, we're gonna throw it into the 2021 Dirt Bike Magazine 250 shootout. So stay tuned for those results.
you got a little bit more time on your hands,